Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Huh? Ghana. So you know why things are not moving? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. You, you know incision? Do you know incision? Incision? No, I don't know. You went to spiritualist? Yes. Huh? Yes. You remember? Yes, I remember. And when you reached there, they did incision on you. Okay. Huh? Yes. It was for making you to, I mean. Uh, it was the lady that I was with before, the brother who was introducing me to those things. It was about four years ago. Don't worry, let's leave it. You're free. I'm Dixon Dan, so I'm from Ghana. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? I confirm it, it's true. I was with a lady like three years, four years ago. The brother, that was my brother-in-law, he was introducing me to some places that I did not want to go. So since then, things are not going all right for me. I lost all my businesses. I lost everything. So that is true. It's a confirmation, it's true. And how was that affecting you? Financially, it's affecting me. Any business that I open, it doesn't, it doesn't prosper. The business will just collapse. So that's how it is. And it's a confirmation. And the reason that you left uh, the person that you were with, what was the reason? We were fighting day and out. Like things were not going on between me and her. So it's like any money that I get, the brother will call. We will send the money home for him to go and do those things for me. And it couldn't help me. So I was there once. I just, we just fight. I told her to pack her stuff and go. She left. So the business that we were operating together, I also left the business. So I was going up and down. So recently that I opened another business that I'm in now. So that lady, I just left her. When we were fighting, I just told her to go and she left. And what kind of a ritual did you want those people to do for you? Uh, I wanted them to let my business to prosper, to be like rich, to be like how I was before. So it's like I was trying to chat with them. I'm even now I can show it on my phone. I didn't bring my phone here, but everything is on my phone and I was chatting with them. Even yesterday, one of the guys like WhatsApp me telling me I should I should send it 1.5 for the rituals. So I told him that I will send it. So I was planning to send it. Then my brother told me we should come to church today. I've been here before. So today I told myself, my brother told me, let's go again. So it's like God who brought me here today. That's what I believe is God who brought me because I was going to do it. And I've, I have even done it already because I was going to pay the money within this week. So that's how it is. And how are you feeling that God located you and also saved you from what you were, you were about to do? Uh, I'm even surprised. I'm very, very surprised because I thought it's only me that knows. Nobody knows. But God being so good, he has touched me today. And I know he has changed everything and I'm not going to do it. And I know I'm free and I'm going to be like the way that I was again. I believe in God. Are you together with him? Yes, sir. Huh? You're together? Yes, sir. Huh? I'm from also from Ghana. I'm from Ghana? Yes, sir. You need deliverance? Yes, sir. You understand? Yes. Where is the lady? She's at home. Huh? Yeah, my wife is at home. Where is she? She's, she's at home. She also needs deliverance. Yeah? Okay, sir. Yeah, because all of you, you're under a cage. Yes, sir. Huh? You're doing everything, nothing is working for you. It's true. Huh? It's true. You are thinking about going away. It's true. Huh? It's true. Come on. Demo. Come on. Lift him up. Lift him up. Come on.
you, you, you dream something chasing you. There's something that you, covering itself. It's true, Prophet. Like I don't know this thing. I don't know, but you know. Covering itself from head to... It's true. Eh? It's what, true. what do you call it? Yeah, I saw someone came to me, told me that uh, I'm a slave for him, for her. You say you're a slave. I'm a slave. Covering like this. Yeah. Come, come here. That's why I say she also need deliverance because that person sleeps with you. It's true. It's eh? a woman. She was sleeping on my side. So the time I wake, I wake up, she fall down with something came in my hands like fire. Then she fall down. So and she then told that's me. That's how your life is becoming a mess now. It's true. Huh? It's true. Come on. Come on. You leave this time. Out. Okay, you are free. So can you tell us your name and where you come from? Uh, my name is Opoku Stephen. I'm from Ghana. And can you tell us the word of prophecy that you received today from the man of God and also confirm it? Yeah, it's 100%. It's 100% because things is not moving. Things is stuck. Because although there was a time it was, things was well, but everything becomes stuck. And even last of 2018, it will, I've been doing and the money almost amount about eighty thousand was it was waste for nothing. The those the one who was helping me for what I was doing, even the person passed away. So everything was stuck. There's nothing moving, as Prophet said. And he also asked you about your wife. Can you also confirm that <laughs> prophecy that he gave about your wife? Yeah, it's true. Me and my wife we are being try our best, as Prophet said, but nothing moving. Nothing is moving. Everything is down. But by God's grace, everything is like we are, we are, we are happy of ourselves. Yeah. So things are not well. Things are bad. The man of God also talked about a spirit that is chasing you. Can you tell us about that? True. It's 100%. It happens that each and every time I saw some strange woman came to me to sleep with me and drapes. So... When I always try to play, when I have a strength to play, I didn't see those things. But I stop, it comes. So it's almost last of last week I saw a woman sleeping on my side. So the woman told me, I was, it's like I feel some sensation of fire in my hands. So it's throw onto the woman and the woman fall down. So I saw strong men, two men holding the woman. So I shout, Jesus, who sent you? Then the woman confessed that, you are my slave. I make you my slave. So that's what happened. So what prophet is saying is 100%. It's 100%. And how were these challenges affecting your life? It's affecting me because uh, I'm the last born of my family. But God raised me up. God raised me up to become, it's like, now I see myself as a leader. Because I'm the one taking care of all those ones. They are going to university on those grounds. Others, they have finished already university, and the other ones, they are coming up. So I'm the one that's like, even the senior ones, I'm the one that's like, I'm taking care of them. That's how God raised me. But I don't know, suddenly, things became down. Became down, things became worse. So I don't know, even my, me and my wife, we was always asking ourselves, what is going on? What is going on? So what prophet is saying is, apostle is saying is 100%.